Hi everybody, welcome back to my modeling channel. So today we are going to start an Airbus A321 from Zvezda on the scale 144. So this is the last release from Zvezda. It's an A321CO, which means with the carrying uh, current engine uh, option. So it's a classic A321. So when uh, I bought the kits, I thought that would be a Neo. The CEO uh, took me uh, of guard, I thought that was the same, but I should have done more research. But let's open the box and see what we have inside. So we're gonna start our uh, kit review by uh, checking the uh, instruction sheet. Very soft, basically. It would be an A3 paper, uh, recto and verso. So very simple, pretty straightforward. You'll have a, maybe a brief history, what are the options? And as uh, usual with Vesda, you can put the plane on the ground, in the air with the flaps, uh, flaps uh, deployed and the slats de deployed as well. And that all also the option of having the cleanup aircraft on the stand or do everything on the ground with the passenger door open. Here are all the, basically the instructions and that's pretty similar to the A320 model that they have. It comes also, seems to come with both options which is the PV2500 and the CF34, or correct me if I'm wrong, but you can uh, correct me in the comment box below. And at the end, uh, you have, of course, the kit descriptions with all the parts and the last options for the gear. Now, we are going to move to the decals options. So that come with a very nice uh, sleek color printed paper on an A4 format. So that show you basically where all the decals are going and the other options where you can see also the new decal sheet. So let's have a quick look on that decal sheet. Uh, it's actually it's a very nice and thin decals. I have to say that uh, I was quite impressed when I saw that. And um, so basically you also have the corregar uh, on those wings, which you won't have to paint or use your airbrush to, uh, to do so. So very nice decal as well. So now we can move on to the kit itself. I'm gonna start with uh, a first crew where we have uh, the wings. So we have, uh, those wings are quite nice. Uh, the kit is, is very, very, very nice actually. You have the options of doing the sharklets or the regular uh, wingtip, which is a, a good thing as well, something I, I, I quite enjoy. And you have the options of detailing basically. You have a few positions for the flaps. I think they are up, out in medium, intermediate position and full flaps. And the slats can be in or uh, out. So the panel lines and all, everything is, is very well detailed in very fine uh, engravements. So it's, it's a very nice kit. It's the first time I'm gonna do a 321 uh, from uh, Zvezda. I did lots of from Revel in the old days, but uh, that's gonna be a new, a new one. So here we have uh, the options with the, all the engines, different type of engines. We have the flaps fairing in different positions. So um, as we can see, they are in, uh, intermediate or de fully deployed. And we have also the vertical stabilizer. Uh, still, I have to say that the, the quality of the plastic is, is very nice. And I always enjoy working on those, um, on those engines and those, uh, those kit from Svesta. So here we are. Now we have the inner flaps uh, with the different options. And the fuselage come in two parts with the main uh, front passenger doors with the possibility of um, the option of being open or closed. And we have the options as well of building the kit with or without the, uh, the cockpit. So you could prepare the kit with an open cockpit and you could see through the window. I did that on a former video of an A320. And you have all the instrument panels and you can do also the entry with the galley. So uh, that's uh, actually a really beautiful kit. And now we are moving to the last part, which are the clear part. So, standard one. So we have the passenger window, the cockpit window, and some landing lights and the nav lights if you use the wingtip. So uh, it seems to be a beautiful kit. 
And I forgot one more thing on that kit. So there's that normally provide on every of these airliners, that uh, aircraft stand. So you have the options always of uh, building your airplane in the air. So very nice kit and I'm gonna enjoy that build. So enough of talking and let's start building. So we're gonna start that build by uh, preparing the fuselage and the cockpit. Bon, for, for that model actually, I will not uh, build the cockpit. I will just uh, paint the decals uh, over the window and the cockpit window. So I won't assemble the whole cockpit, just a part of it, just to be able to uh, fit correctly the, the nose wheel uh, well. After that, I will paint also, uh, I will uh, glue the passenger door and then I will put everything uh, together. So what I will do uh, once the, the glue has dried, uh, I will also fit all the passenger windows and I will fit them on later on. Uh, I will fill them with uh, some Tamiya putty. So once this is done, uh, before closing the fuselage, what I will do is I will put some, uh, some weight. And for this, I'm using some uh, Play-Doh or modeling paste uh, for children. You can find that in every uh, kid, um, kid uh, toy shop. And then to close the our fuselage, I will use uh, that uh, rubber uh, liquid glue with a with a needle, and that's uh, very useful and that's more precise than having those old tubes. So uh, after that, I will glue the cockpit window to the fuselage and let it dry, and then it will be time to uh, fill up all the gaps with some uh, Tamiya white putty. So I will do the fuselage, the joint uh, and the gap between the, the half of the fuselage and also uh, with the passenger windows uh, a little bit later on. While the putt is drying, we're going to start working on our wings. So uh, initially, the wings are in uh, three parts plus the wingtip, as you have the choice between the, the regular uh, wingtip for uh, an A321 Classic or the A321CO, which has the sharklets. So I will proceed on the, the regular A321 by uh, adding the regular wingtips as well. So we are now going to uh, start working on those uh, engines and uh, for this I will uh, use some uh, liquid glue with uh, the brush and uh, after that I will uh, put both of the the half of basically of the the core engine and then uh, put the turbine uh, on the back and uh, let it dry for a little bit add some putty of course uh, fill up all the gaps and then uh, we'll be able to uh, proceed further on that build So we are now going to uh, start that long process of uh, sending down all the uh, extra putty and uh, as you know that requires a lot, a lot of time. So initially I'm going to use uh, a 600 uh, grid sandpaper and then I'm going to reduce to uh, to a 300. Either I will use, uh, depending on the time, I'm either using some very thin sandpaper or I also have an abrasive uh, sponge uh, which is more or less the same between two and three hundred uh, for the sandpaper and then i will uh, do the finish a little bit later on so uh, that requires quite a lot of time but of course the result is always uh, very nice and neat so after finishing uh, sanding down uh, our fuselage it's time to uh, rescribe uh, some of the panel lines as uh, they've been disappeared they're either been filled with uh, putty or uh, sometimes uh, with sanding, sanding down basically the plastic and they just got disappeared. So once we finish that, uh, we're gonna put and fix our wings to our fuselage. And uh, as you can see, the wings don't have their slats and flaps yet. So we're gonna just put the straight wings and then finish the, the assembly of that uh, aircraft. 
So uh, we're going to put the horizontal stabilizer and then uh, we're going to put the uh, APU exhaust. After that, now we are proceeding uh, on uh, filling up uh, some gaps on those uh, turbine of those uh, engines. And then we're going to paint the fan. And for this, I'm using a mix of uh, light gray and uh, metallic paint together. And it's the same mix I'm using basically for the aircraft Koroga, which is the uh, inner part of the wing, of the upper side of the wing. I will now uh, fill the gaps between the wings and uh, the fuselage itself. Uh, that we will uh, just uh, using a standard white uh, Tamiya putty. And then we will uh, finish basically the remaining uh, gaps, filling the remaining gaps uh, on the passenger windows as we really want to have a smooth uh, surface. So we're going to proceed to the final part of that uh, engine build, basically filling the gaps uh, on those engines and uh, after that we're going to let it dry and of course uh, send it down and have a better uh, result. So uh, while the putty is now uh, drying, I'm going to proceed and put the uh, flap fairing uh, on those wings on the other side and I will uh, build basically that aircraft with uh, the flaps in fully uh, open position and the slats will be also deployed so we're gonna let them dry and then we're gonna add some more uh, vent of course uh, on the uh, underbelly of the aircraft and that's mainly gonna replicate like the aircraft is just vacating the runway or entering the parking uh, position we're gonna then fill up and uh, put our uh, winglets those wings are a little bit uh, different than the sharklets uh, sharklets I think is a term only used for Airbus um, and now we are going to uh, basically uh, remove the uh, excess uh, putty on those engines and uh, it will be time to start to go to the paint booth. So initially I will put uh, a light grey coat on the uh, engine mount on uh, both sides and then we're going to start painting that using the same color basically for uh, the undercarriage, I will use uh, a little mix of uh, metal as well, and I will paint also the, the Corogar, uh, which is that mix of uh, darker grey with uh, a little bit of metallic paint uh, on the upper side of uh, the main wing. So, uh, finishing this, we're going to use uh, silver glossy paint from Tamiya to paint uh, the um, cowling, the engine cowls, uh, the slats or leading edge flaps and of course uh, after that we will start to use uh, that light grey color to paint the wings, uh, the lower side, uh, the flaps as well and also uh, the horizontal stabilizer. Once we will have uh, finished this it will be time for uh, masking those wings and uh, get ready for uh, painting our fuselage in a white gloss color from Tamiya and uh, that's going to be almost, uh, we're going to be uh, getting closer to the end of that build or to the finish up uh, of that build. So uh, the white coat took a little bit of time, but uh, overall the result was, uh, was very nice. So we're now going to put a clear varnish uh, on top of our decals to just make sure that they don't dissolve in the water. After that we're going to work uh, on the last part, so we're going to work on the undercarriage and I will put basically um, a silver color on the, on, the side, on the strut itself and then uh, we're going to use um, a dark steel color to paint the uh, brakes unit of the main landing gear. After that it will be time to uh, remove them from the sprue. I will also add as well that uh, that same metallic color on the uh, exhaust of uh, those engines and then we're going to start building up our undercarriage. So initially what I will do is I will put the brake units uh, to the gear 
and then I will add uh, the tires or the wheels. So now what I will do is I will use some uh, silver color and I will use that silver color on, uh, on the body of the engine, basically on the uh, engine core. Um, and then we're gonna, later on, we're gonna weather, put a little bit of weathering uh, on, that, uh, on those engines. And that will give us a little bit of, uh, of a rusty color or uh, a burnt color as well. So what we're doing now is we're just preparing the nose landing gear so initially we're going to put the the wheels and then i will attach uh, the two parts basically who compose that uh, nose landing gear then we'll attach them together and of course i'll have to uh, let them dry now our build is almost finished so it's going to be the decaling process of uh, that aircraft and uh, that require a little bit of, uh, of time of course but the decals were very easy to use I use uh, a brand called uh, Babibi Decal um, it's a Turkish brand and they are doing mainly Turkish uh, airlines and uh, aircrafts so Turkish Air Force, Turkish Airlines or Cyprus Turkish Airlines in this case um, and I have to say that they were very easy to, to handle now I have spent a little bit of time on the tail decal and I wanted to show these to you. Um, basically, you know, when you have a, an irregular surface or some, uh, some joint. So basically I use some uh, Microsoft uh, soil decal and then that get the decal a little bit softened. And then it's a long process, a very slow process. It took me about 10 minutes for that particular decal on the tail. To make sure that I would have the perfect fit so you add a little bit of solution then you bend the decal a little bit and then you add a little bit more and bend again until it slowly it will reach it will stick exactly uh, adhere completely to the surface you want and then you will be able to avoid breaking the decal and have no issues so uh, I wanted to show you that a little bit more and spend a little bit more time on that part because that uh, will take a little bit of time as well to make a perfect fit uh, for those decals and those tail decals are normally the, the, the hardest one. After that I mean it's a pretty simple work uh, but I have to say that those decals didn't include the doors uh, and all the little, uh, all the little uh, static ports or doors, extra doors uh, that are normally on the kit. So basically you just change the colors and use the regular decal that uh, are contained on the on your kit so if you are rebuilding a kit sometimes it might be challenging so now we are going to do a little bit of weathering uh, on that uh, engine exhaust and add also all the decals and um, as you can see there was uh, this kind of uh, silverish uh, rusted color and then we add also all the panels and uh, after that uh, we will be able to do also an extra an extra bit of weathering on that engine so once we finish with all those panel lines uh, I'm gonna put as well the, the logo on the cone and then what we're going to do so uh, unfortunately it glued on the Microsoft soil decal and then I had to uh, rework a little bit more uh, on that part so uh, now we're adding the static ports and uh, on that uh, on that kit and all the little bit of uh, details on the on that kit coming from basically an old A321 uh, that I saved um, from a, from a previous um, model. So we're putting now the, uh, the nose gear door and then we're gonna start uh, preparing the, the flaps. But before that, I will do a little bit of weathering using that technique uh, of using some uh, dark pastel mixed with water and soap. And then I will uh, put them all over some of the panel lines trying to get a little bit more dirt. And uh, as, you, as I told you earlier, it's, it's a very easy technique and very forgiving because when it's dry, you just remove it with um, with a wet cloth or a humid cloth and then you can still add some more and if you remove too much you can still re-add some more uh, some more uh, some more weathering so it's really a forgiving technique and uh, honestly that's what I prefer because I'm not very comfortable doing those uh, using those uh, enamel paint and wash and sometimes uh, the result is not what I want after that we're gonna add the cowl uh, anti-ice 
uh, so basically it's the ring the silvery ring uh, on the engines and then we're gonna remove everything up also and then you'll have the panel lines uh, revealed for the uh, thrust reversers basically so uh, that was a it's a fairly easy process to use and uh, I have to say I'm pretty happy with the result so I'm keeping that technique as I really enjoy it and it's very very forgiving So we're getting close to uh, the last part of uh, that build. Now we're gonna put uh, all our uh, flaps and uh, slats on the aircraft. We're gonna mount them and put them in a deployed position. And uh, after that, we're gonna add the engines as well. And uh, later on, uh, we'll have that uh, final touch and then the airplane uh, will be ready. And here is the final result of that uh, Airbus A321 uh, that I built from uh, Zvezda. I have to say it was a very enjoyable kit. I really enjoyed that build. And uh, I was very happy of uh, those decals from uh, Turkish Cyprus Airways or Turkish Cyprus Airline. Um, those decals were also very easy to use and handle. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that video with me. And if you did so, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you soon for another kit review and another build. Thank you for watching.